now. I was called to reign on now. Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength. To the blind to make them see. Through Christ who strengthened me. I am something, I am a light. A royal priest to lonely nation. And hear of God. So call me kingdom time. Hello everybody, you're welcome once again to this show. This is Kingdom Star on Ogungo TV. Our Kingdom Star for today's show shall be this young man of God who is vision propelled, a vibrant drama minister, a fantastic young man. He is a YouTuber, he is a content creator, a producer of movies. I am talking of no other person than our dear brother, Femi Adebile Pejos Baba. Please, I want you to stay tuned and listen to his testimonies. He's got a lot to tell us. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do remember to subscribe and press the notification bell so that anytime we put anything on this channel, You'll be aware. My name is Adil Yodomi. Please sit down. So call me Kingdom Time. I am salted, I am alive. A royal priest to both the nation and near of God. So call me Kingdom Time. My name is Femi Adibile Joshua, popularly known as Fejos Baba. You know, different names people call me. So we say Bro John. So we say Baba Nife. Hello, how are you? You understand? That's how we do it. Uh, Badi Bo of Kembesono. And, um, you know, different names adapted from different uh, movies. I I was born and bred in Ondo State. I'm a native of Ocean State. Buluadrudu government, to be precise. Igbajo is my hometown. I uh, went for, you know, uh, my... I studied in Enondo State, Enondo City to be precise. I, I attended Triumph International Nursery and Primary School for my primary and nursery education. I further to the same school college, Triumph National College, for my secondary school education. After then I went for my uh, BTEC, my first degree in Lautech. That okay, Axola University of Technology. Intimidation, we can't do not. <laughs> Those who are a lot of guys can understand. I'll be very good, strong yeah. alumni of Lautech. I studied computer science and engineering. After which I went to Futa Federal University of Mujakure to do my master's degree in the same computer science and engineering. Mm, I'm a child of God. I attend the Palai Bible Church. Um, what else you need to know about me? I think that's all for now. I'm a child of God, Sha. Would you know? <laughs> Baba, people do say that too. That uh, when they saw me, when when they heard about me, that they expected that when they would now see the person, that is going to be one Baba or old person, not knowing that it is one Fufuleli or Pelenge Shibula who Peleviara and all that. <laughs> Small but mighty. Well, just Baba, as I told you, my name is Femi Joshua Adebile. When I was young and I was um, still in university, I, you know, brought F-E from Femi, J-U-S from Joshua. I combined that, so it was Fejus. So that time, people called me just Fejus, Fejus, Fejus. Was Fejus. My name was, ah, Fejus, Fejus, Fejus Prem, Fejus, Fejus, auntie. When we want to reshoot that first movie that I said we could not lay the tapes, so we want to shoot it again. So I was to act as an old man there. So with the makeup, I was not like ah, you a pale one, you are a Leo. Oru komi ni Arabu ni Fejus Baba. Oun koto ni mi, Ojiri ni mi. So once the movie came out, Boje di Fejus Baba, Fejus Baba. So from there, eh, Fejus Baba. 
that's how people call me for Jesus Baba. And that's how I even use that name to name my TV channel. For Jesus Baba TV. So that's how I got the name. For Jesus is my two names. Baba was because I acted Baba in a movie, the Jalaisi. And that's how they're now calling me for Jesus Baba. The kingdom time. I am salted, I am alive. A royal priest to hold the nation. And here of God. So call me kingdom time. minister is by divine providence is is the grace of god because um if i'm to talk about my my living in the ministry now today i have nothing to glory of why because i really have no interest in drama or acting while i was growing up why because i'm very shy i'm a very shy person i remember days when i used to bribe our class captain in school because i don't want him to put my name in quiz debate or debate i mean quiz competition or debate so I have to give him 15 hours. I open my name because I can't stand before the crowd. I can't face people to talk. You see me just blowing some grammars. I'll be sweating as though you just put water on me. So how will a shy person like that be able to now act drama where people will be there watching you? So drama was out of it for me. I don't know I can get to this level that I will now be on the screen and I'll be blessed to a lot in the world so it's by divine providence and the grace of god and um, you know the, the the journey started when i was in ss23 and i was um having visions seeing myself acting drama seeing myself acting wonderfully well seeing myself directing white people i've i've seen myself acting with the likes of daddy mike babeloi the likes of that lika shikia and a host of drama ministers that i've not even met before and so I knew, wow, it's like God has something for me for me in this ministry of drama. So gradually, gradually, the grace of God came upon my life. I was, you know, this boldness began to come and gradually I started writing scripts and blah, blah, blah. We are here by the grace of God. The kingdom I am salted, I am alive, a royal priest to hold the nation. My first appearance on screen should have been a movie titled Eji Elisha. But because Eji Elisha was actually our first movie, we acted it. But um, for some reasons, we could not lay our hands on the tapes. It was tapes we were using that time. So we, we, the, the tape was misplaced somehow. So through that, that was, that was out of it. So the other movie now acted that actually brought me on screen was Robbers of Glory. Robbers of Glory. And, and, and that is uh, the, the movie. So that was my first movie that brought me on the screen. It is my first appearance. In kingdom time, I am salted, I am alive. A royal priest to hold the nation. And here on. Ah. Hello. How are you? <laughs> my body face is a concept many people like all over the world. And what I said is, I want to appreciate those who are watching me now. You always encourage me with with uh, Babani faith. Has been a blessing to a lot of people. The way it comes, you know, this God, the way it does his things. Let me just tell you the story so that you, you will be shocked and say, "Wow, just like that." It was last year during the lockdown. <clears throat> no, we had nothing to do. We were at home. So there was a time before the lockdown came. I think maybe around um, March. The lockdown started in March, so February, March. I I just came home. So when I came home and you know I have boys around me, you know, at home. So I came, I was now in the room. So when I got to the room, I was now like, ah, I'm tired though. Ah, me mulani in the go help me, oh. So as I said that in the room alone, I saw the boys run to the room and say, Hello, sir, Ronson. Who spoke now? What was that now? It's like, ah. I was like, what is it? So is that why you spoke? Ah. I said, okay, I was what that spoke. Say, ah, say it again, say it again. I said, ah. What? He was a, he said, say it again. They were now begging me. I said, ah, say, give me a cash attention to Belvani. I said, okay, hello, how are you? And they started laughing and laughing and some assaulted. And I said, ah, ah, oh, yeah, be me. This is Babani Fe. From then, I knew that that thing catch attention. I said, wow. So this thing can catch attention like this. People can come and there's so much, can be addicted to this voice. Okay, from there, I know, okay, fine, okay, fine. Yeah, you know, the, the Bible says to the Jew, the 
became as Jews so that we can win the Jews so that by some means we can save so I said okay fine I will just start that okay fine let me just keep the voice and see what God will do that time we still I didn't have nothing to do with it again until after about two weeks ago one of them came again and said sir that voice that you used to talk say it together I'm not saying it so if, you want, if you want me to say it you give me money and then he dipped his hand into his pocket and then gave me money so he can pay for this so I collected the money that day and I was speaking I was speaking like that I said wow so I used that money to actually buy granola and sugar to take and get in the afternoon <laughs> but I was not like so people can pay for this thing it's got kind of attention so that was why I started doing I just started with a small skit and put it online and everybody was laughing and they were saying, oh, play, we are blessed, we are this. Eh, eh. So actually, it caught the attention of children, of teenagers, of adults. So and that's how uh, we came about the voice and, and the, the concept of Abani Fair, and, and we started doing it. In kingdom time, I am salted, I am alive, a royal priest to the holy nation, a dear of God. Challenges. No good thing will ever be birth. A lot of challenges ranging from being a producer, from being an actor, from being a script writer, or what have you. There are many challenges. But summarily, I would just say that um, majorly, I do say this thing to people in the world, not to, uh, you know, solicit for any serious thing, but please, those who are watching us, I want you to understand that the major challenge that is facing drama ministers, not only female Dibili, everybody, every one of us that you are seeing that you are getting blessed through our lives and movies, is finance. Financing me. Drama ministers are only trying to, you know, be a blessing. Most of us are still struggling. That's the truth. Many people will not come out to say, but Maso Toro, that's the truth. Because, you know, to produce a movie is finance. It's not easy. You know, it's easy to take a message and go to the people and say, ah, praise the Lord and all that. But that message that you just sat down and listened to, to put it in a movie now, so it can reach to, the, to millions in the world, will cost hundreds of thousands and sometimes could run into millions. So finance is a major, major challenge for drama ministers. Money to shoot movies, money to, to get costumes, money to produce them, edit them. So, if you have been a blessing to our lives and to drama ministers, and you, 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 you really celebrate what God is doing through us, and you are a partaker of the blessing, and God has blessed you, please, be a blessing to any drama minister that you see. That's the one challenges we face in drama ministry, finance. Number two, and the second challenge we can see that we face sometimes is, was the problem of acceptability. Before now, you know, the, the way our movies have been accepted, people don't want to watch gospel movies, uh, gospel, nobody wants to buy it and all that. But now, the, the tide is changing. People now, we now have audience, people now want to watch our movies. But then, you can also help us in that area too. How? When you see any ghost movie online and you watch, recommend it. Share it to others. Through that, the audience will increase. And by that, you are winning souls to God and to the kingdom. There are many challenges, but I want to just, just give state those few ones for now. I am salted, I am alive, a royal priest to the holy nation, a dear of God. So yeah, my most challenging role in a movie before now was Death in the Pot. We are after that same uh, broke Billy Alegbe, the one that want to be matched to me with his serpentine spirit. The Lord said no, it will not happen. The Lord said no, it won't happen. <laughs> that was my most challenging role before now, but now. My most challenging role that brought tears out of my eyes last year. Was it last year? No, this year was Kembesono. When we did Kembesono three to five together, and I was playing Badimbo. 
one thing that make me cry one thing was and Lord change we we'll change we we'll come oh yeah go and change we we'll change we we'll come go and change with this sin we'll come. ah so it's not this go and change again it's going to <laughs> from the ah, I was looking for at least maybe they should give us just 30 minutes to sit down check for that Go and change, go and change, go and change. Ah, no, no, no. It got to me that I was frustrated until I was weeping. It was build, I was saying, it is fair. I'm not worried. I'm praying it is fair. I'm a shit on me. I'm a shit on me. I was frustrated. It was a challenging role for me. That was challenging. Then the fact that I have to be, you know, matchmaking one uh, daily bad day. Ah, romantic scene. Playing the romantic scene for me was very difficult, you know. You know, you know we, we, we are not that good in this romantic stuff. You know, they say, you know, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, ah, romantic. That was also difficult, but I tried my best. I'm so ashamed, so romantic here. I'm romantic here, as we. That was a very good challenging role for me. Then, uh, about my mentorship. Um, mentor, my mentor is, um, that is my family. Yeah. My family is somebody I look up to. Why? This is because even before I met him, I've been mentored by his books. So meeting him was easy. Because Daddy Mike is somebody who pour out his mind, pour out the challenges in his books from um, By Faith Conquering Kingdom, his drama in the Bible, challenges of drama ministry, you know, or the walking on fire, and the old the clinical altar, a lot of his books. So I've been mentored by his books. So when I met him, it was easy because he lived the life of what he writes. So he said I was able to. So he is a very good mentor for me when it comes to the ministry of drama, like ministry per se. Aha. Uh-huh. But in other field, you know, like maybe the academic field, I have other mentors in the academic field, in the professional field, and all that. And that mentor I can say I have that really helped me ministerially also is Apostle Joshua Selman. He's somebody that uh, uh, I'm eternally grateful to. He really exposed me and gave me knowledge to many things that I do not have knowledge about. Another mentor, another father I cannot forget is Pastor W.F. Kumoyi. Pastor Kumoyi. The Lord will bless your life in Jesus' name. And by the grace of God, all those pebbles and problems in your life is rolled away in Jesus' name. And that's my mentor, Pastor W.F. Kumoyi of the Deeper Life Bible Church. He's somebody I respect enough. All his teachings has been what has really endowed me to the kind of uh, messages I write and what I stand for. So these are the mentors I can talk about. I am salted, I am alive, a royal priest to the holy nation, a near of God, so don't he keep those hands. Ah, at first, when my parents had a big great dimension of drama, they did not support me. They stood up against me. They said, no way. I said earlier that I'm from Deeper Life Bible Church. So it was not my parents alone. The church said no. The leaders over me, the church said no. They said it's not happening. It's not going to happen. They said I'm bringing straight fire. It's a lie. It will not happen. So my parents did not support me at all. We, it, we fought and fought. They said, no. they said it's not going to happen. This, but I stood my ground because I know what I have seen. And I understand and I believe that it's a calling of God for my life. So I pushed forth. But after two, three, four, five years into it and them, they saw results. They saw that people are actually blessed. They saw people sharing testimonies and sending it to them to even greet me. They now decided that, okay, fine, we'll pray with you, continue. So and they started praying with me. Up till now, now they are in full support and then they, they are really praying for me about the ministry. So uh, the lesson I will say is this. Whatever the Lord has sent you to do, please do. Don't say, they're saying, that's not it. I should not do it. Because one time will come. Those that say don't do, they eventually be doing it. And that time, they'll be too late. So all that fast to wish you have, that no one will take whatever the Lord has sent you to do. Be resilience. Leg Oh yeah.
Спасибо, They have been so helpful because most of them they are the ones that recommend our movies. They recommend our movies. They tell people to watch our movies. And the truth is, they, they, they tend to release their inhibitions about what we do than the male counterpart. Or if a guy see what to do and is and you do and it told you a do ego the jackal saw. You might be saying, ah, prefer me oh, well, that, that was nice, Mark Chris. That was nice. You be like see Mark Chris, no, no, be fine. But let the female rise him. So, my female fans, they are nice. Now, let me talk of coping with them. Because as a single brother, I, I, one thing that helped me was that I'm more of the indoor person. Yeah, so people don't get to see me outside all the time. I'm not the outgoing type. The one that you see in party, that you see in this conference, you see in that conference. No, no. I spend more times indoor. Sometimes I can be at home for 48 hours without stepping out the gate. Sometimes I can be in the room for 12 hours without even putting my legs down the bed, on the bed for 12 hours. I'm, I'm, I'm an indoor person. So I don't go out. So where, where do I meet the fans? Or how do I say I want to cope with them? The only thing that happens is that on social media, they are on social media, you know, chat on social media, my DMs are full. And I answer to the one I can answer. And when I see that any 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 of them based on, you know, most of them is because of the the love of what we do. Most of them will say, ah, sir, we love what you do, sir. They want to get closer. They want to be friends. Not all of them have a bad motive. Not all of them have an ulterior motive most times. The only thing that they know, most of them, they have been carried away with the blessing that they have gotten from the movie. So, God has been the one helping me to cope with them. And we have been so nice. I'm happy that um, as a single brother, no sister can lay, do, lay hold of me and say, okay, this brother, mm, no, 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 I'm on the camera, I'm on the camera, no body. God has helped me to that level. So, I'm always an indoor person. It really helps a lot. Then I don't go out. I don't just go to where they don't invite me. Then uh, when I meet them, on the road once in a while, I greet them, I attend to them so so great, so, so wonderfully well. And I think most of them, when they see me one on one, there's always this a little bit of ah, it's not this, it's not really playful like we normally see. So let us calm down. And all that. So I think those two really help, sir. But they are wonderful set of people. I celebrate you all again and again. Let's keep working together. I am salted, I am alive, a royal priest to the holy nation, a hero of God, so call me kingdom star. Well, if I'm going to answer that question about what I cherish most in my life, the, the only thing I cherish in my life is to be a blessing to a generation. Like, I'm always happy and fulfilled when people watch our movies and they call us and tell us that we are a blessing. When people share testimonies of what our movies has done to their lives. Oh, I we beaming with joy that day that we didn't just go to location to come and go and stay under the light. Because on location, the light that they put on us on location is too hot. So that we are not there in vain. Doing take one, take two, take three, take four, take ten. But that all our labors in those days of location in the village or in the city or anywhere is setting captives free from diverse bondages, is making people blessed. One of the things I pray that God will help me to achieve, which is one of my visions, is that I want to be living on locations. That locations will not become my dwelling place. That location will not become my house. That location will not become camp meeting. 
as one film is shoot, we have finished one shoot, they are going, another one is starting, and I'm, I like to be on locations, just shooting movies and shooting movies for the kingdom of God because we are still very few. A lot of rubbish entertainment on the world. We still need more of godly movies that will be able to right all the wrongs that are on social media. I am salted, I am alive, a royal priest to holy nation, a near of God, so God in kingdoms Being an actor, a scriptwriter, and a producer together is a very difficult thing. You know, it would have been easy if you write a script and you give somebody to produce for you and you don't even act. You may not be on location. If you're just a producer, and you just you know just leave the money yeah take the money go and shoot and you don't go it would have been so easy but being an actor so first of all, i won't start from being a script writer script writing my brother it's not easy sometimes i get i get depressed when i'm writing scripts so combining script writing half of writing it now you go and look for money again to produce it and most times at the major role of the movie it's God. It's beyond man understanding. It's something I cannot really explain. It's God that has been doing it because it's really burdensome. So all glory to God, the giver of all. So call me kingdom time. I am salted, I am alive. A royal priest to hold the nation. A near of God. So call me kingdom time. <laughs> How did I get money? Ah, Ogongo TV. Yeah, I will see brethren. Why do you want to? Yeah, no, <laughs> well, that's that's quite funny though, but um uh God, I, I will say something that I normally say the blessings of God comes from God through men to men. So we don't I don't do any serious work or like I'm into, I'm into the ministry full time. That's just the truth. So we depend on the ministry to, to do the works we do to you know make some ends meet and all that. So the money we have been getting has been from a wonderful set of people who has decided to obey God by giving to the ministry. You know, some people will just sow their seed to the ministry, their seed of faith to the ministry. Some people will just call us and bless our lives. And when they bless us, it's this, all this money they give to us. We gather together. After we pay our tithes, we use the money again to produce film. That's what we do. So the money has been from brethren that God has been sending to us. As we are also reaching out to some people too, if God has been blessing you, and you have been, you have been blessed by our movies, please and please, Try as much as possible to always reach out to drama ministers because uh, we need finance to run this ministry well the way it ought to be. So it has been from God's provision through men to all of us. Call me kingdom time. I am salted, I am alive. A royal priest to hold the nation. A near of God. So call me kingdom time. say Google TV. Somebody said drama and music is not a ministry. Hello, Sobe. Who said it? Can I know the name of the person? Ha. Huh. Who told you that? <laughs> drama and music are powerful weapons in the hands of God. Ah, well, me, let, don't let me judge the person. I think the person must be talking from a perspective, not uh, from our own perspective. You know, what we do is drama what the people of the world do is drama so people use that same drama to mislead people some use music to mislead people so in that way that person could say it's not a ministry but when he's talking to we who have the calling of god to use drama to minister ah, drama is in the bible music is in the bible do you know when music even used, music was used to deliver a, a soul eh, from that a demonic spirit that anytime David blows the harp, that spirit will leave a uh, uh, soul. Is, is that not a deliverance ministry through music? What about drama? For the prophet Ezekiel, when the Lord told him that, okay, fine, don't use your mouth to tell them this message. Act it. Carry this one in their sight. 
This one in there, go and read Ezekiel 12 or Ezekiel 8. Go and check it there. Read the first 10 verses you will see there. He said, In their sight, in their sight. And when he got to a particular verse, he said, When you now do it, they will ask you a question that why are you doing this in our present? He said, Tell them that this thing I've done to you is what will happen to you. Let it be as a sign, as a symbol. Drama is like a sign and a symbol to preach a message to a generation. And why would you say it's not a ministry? And listen to me. Anything we do, whether dancing, whether acting, whether eating, whatever we do that can bless a soul and bring a soul to Christ and cause deliverance to a soul, my brother, it has become a ministry. So in my own word, drama and music is a wonderful ministry that will even continue when we get to heaven because we shall rejoice and sing in the courts of heaven. I am salted, I am alive, a royal priest to the holy nation, a dear of God, so call me kingdom star. My advice to we upcoming actors or drama ministers is that we should be patient because I'm one of you and I'm an upcoming too. Yeah, because and how do I why do I say I'm an upcoming? Sherry, then your Bible be too long. The man confess be too wide. I'm a couple of people. But well, somebody wants to go to Lagos, to what? The Bafu. Yes, ah, I want to attend. I don't know UK. Who are Lulu? No matter what the person have achieved, still not coming. So look at where I'm going to, and to where, where I am now. But you know, God has done a lot of things, don't talk about I'm still not coming. My children is so therefore be your coming my friends and be patient. Let's let's let them go hear from God. When God says stop, stop. When He says continue, continue. When He says retreat, retreat. Let's hear from God, and that will be the best thing that can ever happen to any man. When you can hear from God, and you can obey His instructions. Kingdom time. I am salted. I am alive. Oh, go go TV. You must be born again because this is your question. This ah, oh go go ah, where no? Your name no? Oh go go no, bye bye yeah. Toto 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 to. I will be getting married very soon, very soon, like very soon, very soon. And you like like you. Yeah, my wonderful viewers at home, everybody watching Ongongo TV. Keep watching Kingdom Stars on Ongongo TV. If you watch my Marawa, around at the mic, around at the end of the world, I repeat you. I don't want to say they can't go, can't go, don't want to go, don't want to go, don't want to go, don't want to go. It's like I Kingdom Stars, not to marry you or Granny. Yeah, oh, if you for Ministry in the world of life. To the weak to give them strength. To the blind to make them Wow. Wow. This is full of insight. This is a testimony of me. This is fantastic. No wonder Pedro is doing well. Ah, I remember one time we discussed that he told me he has a lot of scripts. Scripts that we cannot exhaust even in a year. Ah, I love Pedro's people. Well, thank you for listening to this video. I believe you have learned one or two things. Please do us a favor by sharing this video. I want you to like it. Ask questions in the comment section. Make your comments. And uh, please do subscribe. Ah, well, uh, we have come to the end of this show today. Next time on Kingdom Stars, I will bring another fantastic man of God to your view. And I promise that you will also enjoy it. Well, well, well. Thank you for watching. I don't know.